Is OpenAI's more capable reasoning model coming tomorrow? Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. We started talking about this last week, but boy, has the hype and rumor train around OpenAI's next model gotten nothing but louder since then. The main character in this particular drama is a Twitter account called at I Rule the World MO. This person, or perhaps AI, has been tweeting nonstop for a couple of weeks now with increasingly specific predictions, interspersed with big, broad, grand vision tweets like this one. Imagine a world where every human has access to the power of a thousand minds. That's the promise of Project Strawberry, and it's closer than you think. So today we're checking in on the rumors, which of course could just be rumors, and everything we know so far. So by way of background, Strawberry is apparently the latest name for what was originally called QSTAR. You might remember QSTAR from around the time that Sam Altman was fired from OpenAI before being rehired. There were tons of speculation that this more advanced model had freaked some people out internally, and they were concerned around how Sam Altman was likely to go try to commercialize it, and that was the motivation for his firing. Now, subsequently, no one has tried to make that claim, but try to tell that to the internet denizens. Then back in July, Reuters reported that the new name for QSTAR was called Strawberry, and that yes, indeed, it was about a better reasoning model. All of this further heated up last week when a new model showed up on the Limsys chatbot arena, which was called Anonymous Chatbot. Now, OpenAI has a history of releasing their models as this sort of anonymous chatbot in advance of them being officially released, and so people were looking for evidence that this might be QSTAR or now Strawberry. Writes NDTV, Anonymous Chatbot uses chain of thought reasoning, a stark step away from the current methods of reasoning like pattern recognition. If new chatbots are going to start showing up that use chain of thought and their reasoning capabilities, we're likely to see another shift in the AI race. Then, of course, there's the fact that OpenAI's team seems to be part of the tease. Sam Altman tweeted, I'd love summer in the garden with a picture of some strawberries. And when that same anonymous user, I rule the world, wrote, welcome to level two, how do you feel? Referring to level two on OpenAI's new chart of the path to AGI, which is reasoning level, Altman replied to that account, amazing TBH. As Tom's guide points out, however, there's another reason to think that maybe OpenAI would do this this week. And that is that there is a Google event this week, made by Google, which happens tomorrow on Tuesday, August 13th. Tom's writes that the event has very few unknowns when it comes to what Google will likely announce, given that they've already shown off the Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro Fold in videos. And so the speculation is whether the focus comes back to AI. As Tom's points out, Google has lost some of their steam when it comes to AI on the phone, and certainly as part of the larger generative AI conversation, and speculates around what some of the AI features that they might announce instead would be. So is OpenAI just going to try to cut the media legs out from under this Google event? Well, that same anonymous account, I Rule the World, has said that tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time is when some big announcement from OpenAI will be made. This morning they wrote, attention isn't all you need. New architecture announcement, August 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, the singularity begins. A couple days before that, that account had given more of what it argued was its insider information. On Project Strawberry slash QSTAR, they said, This is what Ilya saw. It's what has broken math benchmarks. It's more akin to RLHF than throwing compute at the problem. Think of it as an LLM fine-tuned to reason like a human. This account also argues that GPT Next, which they say is internally called GPT X, but what we would call GPT 5, is quote, also ready to go. Lots here relies on safety and what Google does next. It's difficult to say if competition will trump safety. Though red teaming is finished and post-training is done, this model is such an enormous leap in capabilities, it's becoming impossible to make the model safe. If you had this particular model unlocked, you could easily disrupt the world on an unprecedented scale. When you mix in voice, video, Sora, agents, and the eyewater and capabilities, things heat up. They'll get the safety right and then they'll roll it out, I'm sure. They also say that in addition to it just being really expensive, those safety concerns are also delaying Sora. Ultimately, they say, we will get to a step change next week. It won't quite be GPT-5. GPT-5 slash next slash X is more comparable to the jump made from GPT-1 to 4. This is why Sam feels great. Ilya was right. You can scale your way to a digital god with or without strawberries, but strawberries plus scale will cure world problems overnight. Now, there is more than a little skepticism out there. Google's Francois Chalet writes, There have been AGI-achieved internally rumors spread by OpenAI every few weeks or months since late 2022, and you guys are still eating it up for the nth time. If you were actually close to AGI, you wouldn't spend your time shitposting on Twitter. Logan Kilpatrick, formerly of OpenAI, now at Google, writes, Anyone who thinks I rule the world MO is AGI or some advanced model has no idea how OpenAI operates as a company. News outlets are now trying to dig into who this anonymous account is. James Poulos at Blaze writes, Text most mysterious and controversial new account followed me on X. Is it the Antichrist? 
Is it a bot? Is it a person? The internet can't say for sure, and techies are going nuts arguing over it all. Meet I Rule the World MO, an out-of-nowhere account that almost immediately drew replies from the likes of Sale Maltman due to its seemingly acute insider knowledge of impending breakthroughs in so-called artificial general intelligence. The Neuron pointed out that it was far from conclusive that the anonymous chatbot on Limsys chatbot arena was actually strawberry or even particularly good. As they write, reviews are mixed. Some see it as a potential strawberry drop with improved logic. Others think it's a minor upgrade to ChatGPT 4.0 with little evidence of reasoning. Sometimes it performs better than other models. Sometimes testers prefer others. Some commenters even think ChatGPT may have already received a secret upgrade. And indeed, you see that if you float around on Twitter slash X as well. HyperWrite CEO Matt Schumer writes, Something might be going on with GPT-4.0. For the first time in a long time, it provided better vibes on an output than 3.5 Sonnet. Really surprised, we'll keep using it today to see if it continues. That's from earlier today, Monday, August 12th. Maybe even more interesting were these tweets from Perplexity CEO Aravan Srinivas that seem to imply that they're running Strawberry slash Q-Star. Again, from Monday when someone tweeted, Perplexity Pro is already running the Strawberry? Aravan quote tweeted it with the eyes emoji and three strawberries. On August 11th, he posted a screenshot of a perplexity query around the question, how many R's in there are many strawberries in a sentence that's about strawberries? He added the caption, guess what model this is? Again, strawberry emoji. He also had the classic psycho entrepreneur phone battery life of 6%. As the AI safety memes account pointed out, Aravand is also tweeting out various examples purporting to show strawberry in action. One of them from a day ago, the berries are scheming, is the caption. Even for OpenAI, which does a lot of hinting and likes to release things a little bit in advance of saying that they're releasing them, this is a lot of hinting. At this stage, while I don't have a ton of sense of who's behind this meme account and don't want to give it too much credence, it seems highly unlikely that we're not going to see something this week. At the same time, I also think it's pretty unlikely that most people won't be disappointed based on just how hyped it has gotten. However, as soon as it comes out, whatever it is, you will of course hear about it first. Until then, appreciate you listening or watching as always, and until next time, peace.